Another five-minute mystery. This must be a big case we're headed for, Inspector. Well, you're right in the way, Stokes. I've known old Sherry, a man who's been murdered, for a long time. Isn't he the guy who owned a lot of diamonds? Yes, he had several very valuable ones in his collection. And I think somebody killed Sherry for those diamonds. The idea who? We'll find that out after we get inside. Oh, hello, Inspector Crothers. I'm glad you got here so soon. Oh, hello, Dr. Matthews. I brought Sergeant Stokes along to help. Fine. Come on in, won't you? The man who phoned me, Mr. Sayers, is in the study where they found Sherry. Yeah, we'll come along after you, Doctor. Inspector Crothers, this is Mr. Sayers who found Mr. Sherry unconscious when he came in. How do you do, Mr. Sayers? Holy Moses, look at this place. Looks as though a cyclone had struck it. Now, um, tell us what happened, won't you, Mr. Sayers? I'd like to get the story straight. Well, in a very confidential capacity, I represent a large diamond-buying syndicate. Mr. Sherry was known to have a very extensive collection of gems... One specimen in particular that our firm wanted to buy. And you were sent to see if he would sell it? That's right. I made an appointment with Mr. Sherry for this evening. He said to come here and that he might be back here in the study and not hear the bell. If no one answered, I was to come right in. He would leave the door unlocked for me. Isn't that a rather strange thing for a man to do who has a valuable collection of diamonds in his house? Well, I thought so at the time, but I thought also that Mr. Sherry was perhaps, well, eccentric. You see, I'd never met him... Nor, as a matter of fact, heard of him until yesterday. I come from another part of the country, you see. And he was alone? Completely. You can imagine how shocked I was at finding Mr. Sherry lying on the floor by the desk, unconscious and the room all upset. When Mr. Sayers phoned me, I imagined that Sherry was suffering from one of his chronic attacks. However, I find that the man has been hit at the base of the skull by a powerful blow, breaking his neck and killing him instantly. You say you are familiar with Mr. Sherry's chronic attacks, Doctor? Yes, I've been Mr. Sherry's personal physician for many years. That was why I phoned Dr. Matthews, Inspector. I knew that he would be able to offer the best help. Mr. Sayers, your theory is a very nicely calculated one. In fact, I would have acted on it if it hadn't been for one thing. As it is, though, I'm holding you for the murder of Mr. Sherry and for the attempted theft of his diamond collection. <laughs> What mistake did Sayers make that caused the inspector to hold him on a definite charge of murder? In just a moment, we'll tell you. And now, back to our five-minute mystery. Hold me for murder? Why, Inspector, I told you... I know, Mr. Sayers, you told me a little too much. When you said you had never met Sherry, nor heard of him until a day ago, everything was fine. But when you said you called his personal physician purposely, you caught yourself. If you knew nothing about Sherry, you couldn't have known who his personal physician was. Say, Inspector, that's pretty clever. Pretty clever. (laughs) 